natin. Dami na kayo mga baligyan din nila. later eventually meanwhile one eternity later to prove that this object is a gold, we need to know its mass and its volume. We all know that the unit weight of a pure gold is 189.529 kN per cubic meter. And if the result of the unit weight of this object we are about to test is equal or closer to that value, then this object is a pure gold. So now, this container will be filled with water at its full volume. By the use of the Archimedes principle that the volume of the submerged surface of an object is equal to the volume of the displaced water, we may be able to find the volume of this object. Just submerge it to the container full of water and get the mass of the water that was spilled. We all know that the unit weight of water is 9.81 kN per cubic meter and if we use this constant, then we get the volume of that spilled water by dividing its mass to the unit weight of water. That volume of the spilled water is approximately equal to the volume of the object. Then weigh the object to get its mass. By the use of this formula, then we will now be able to get the unit weight to prove if this is really a gold. Yes, Bianca, I get it. The unit weight of this gold is 189.871 kN per cubic meter, which is equal to the unit weight that we search in the book. Really? That's good. Let's present it already to Madam. Okay. Madam, good news. What? Based on our calculations, it is a pure gold. Oh, good job. Give me that. 